Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a product that was recently sent out to me for review by Electro, who is the company who manufactures this. This is the CrowPi 2. And I don't typically do product review videos. I certainly don't do paid review videos where a company pays me money to do a review because I don't believe those are right. I don't believe it's ethical. It's it's very wrong in my view. So I've, I've, I've never taken money from a company to do a product review. What I have done occasionally is I've received uh, products for free to kind of share my opinions and my thoughts on them. And I've not done one of those videos in a long time because I get emails like, the, like these every single week of companies saying, hey, do you want to take a look at our iPhone case or our car charger or just something that I wouldn't really do a full video on because I don't think it would fit in well with the content that we do on this channel. But when this company reached out, I was really interested because I had never heard of this product, but when I started doing some research on it, it sounded very interesting. What this is, is as you can probably tell by what it says right here, it is a Steam learning platform and Raspberry Pi laptop. Now Steam, this is not as in Steam, like the gaming platform, like the application you can buy games from uh, on your computer. Uh, Steam is a, I guess you could say variant of STEM education. It stands for science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So whereas STEM is just science, technology, engineering, and math. And one of the things that really caught my eye is this development board that's actually housed underneath the keyboard. This keyboard is wireless and it does come out. And it's got all sorts of sensors and interfaces that can be used with the Raspberry Pi. And, and this is actually the second version of the Crow Pi. There was a original version that was released a couple of years ago, and that model took the form of, it almost looked like a briefcase, where you had this like briefcase, you would open it up, and you would have like a monitor, you would have just this development board, there was no keyboard. Definitely had more of a like hobbyist feel or a hobbyist look to it. But this one I think is really cool because it takes the form of like a regular laptop. Now this version, the Crow Pi 2, is actually not officially released yet. It is still, I guess, in its development phase, although it is wrapping up uh, pretty shortly here. This is a Kickstarter project, so you could go over to Kickstarter, you can back it. And they were originally asking for $20,000, and so far they've raised over $400,000. So they've definitely met and uh, exceeded their goal by a fairly large margin. And and uh, that campaign ends on the 15th of August. So once that campaign ends, I believe they're going to go into a mass production phase where they're going to start manufacturing these and actually selling them. To talk about price here, the original version cost $219. If you were to back this on Kickstarter and get the kind of the basic version that doesn't come with the Raspberry Pi, the cost is $170. If you were to get the version that has the Raspberry Pi included, which is this version right here, uh, the cost is around $260. Now these prices are subject to change because this is obviously the, the price of backing it on Kickstarter. So when they start mass producing these, they, they may change the price, although I don't know any of that information. But I will leave the Kickstarter campaign down below if you want more information. So the box is a fairly nice design. It kind of has some uh, illustrations of some of the things that you can do with it. On the back, it does tell you, if we flip this around here, it tells you these specifications, uh, what comes with this specific version. This is, again, the version with the Raspberry Pi. It does come in a couple of different colors. It comes in silver and space gray. Uh, this is the silver variant. And they also have like a, a marker here. There's four different kits, basic kit, starter, advanced, and deluxe kit. So without any further ado, let's just crack this open here. Uh, the top of this just kind of slides off. We'll go ahead and take it out. You've got this nice little padding here. We'll take that out as well. And this is what you get right here. This is everything. Now, the laptop itself is fairly small. It's not like this is a, a, a full-fledged you know, laptop. This is essentially a Raspberry Pi inside of a laptop-like casing. Um, but you've also got all of your accessories and, and various components over here on this side. So this is the manual right here that just gives you some brief information about it. It also tells you a list of, of uh, what modules come with uh, this kit here. So everything that, that is included, so we'll set that aside. Uh, this right here is very interesting. These are, as you can probably tell, they are blocks from Minecraft. And you can essentially cut these out and kind of form them into little cubes and use them with that development board with Minecraft, which is pretty cool. Because yes, there is a Raspberry Pi version of Minecraft. So pretty awesome. We'll just set that aside here. Now you probably saw on the box that this does support RetroPie, which is a uh, essentially a emulation software that you can use to emulate older video game consoles, and they actually include 
two controllers for you, and these are uh, based around the SNES or the Super Famicom in this case because of the uh, colored buttons here. Um, so yes, these are kind of themed around that design. They're obviously not official controllers. They are USB, so you can plug them into the Raspberry Pi or just use on your computer. You've also got the power supply right here. So this is the cable to plug into the wall. And this is the power supply. Yes, it is external. So this is the, uh, the brick right here. We'll set that aside. Now here you have all of your components. Again, there are a, a lot of various components in here that you can use with that development board. So we'll go ahead and take these out here. You see all sorts of stuff. There's even uh, this moisture sensor right here. Now what's really nice is there are a lot of tutorials and guides that are already on this laptop, at least this particular version that comes with the Raspberry Pi, to kind of walk you through how to use all these sensors, how to make things. How to, I mean, there's just there's so much stuff uh, that you can do using that development board with uh, these sensors here. What you've also got is a mouse right here. This does come with uh, not only a keyboard, but also a mouse. So here is that right here. It comes included for you, which is pretty nice. Uh, you've also got, these are some more of the, of the sensors here. We'll go ahead and take those out. You've got uh, two screwdrivers, a flathead and a uh, Phillips screwdriver, which can be necessary for, for certain projects or for getting, uh, like opening up the laptop. Uh, what you have here is this is kind of your little kit with, you've got a remote in here, you've got a uh, HDMI adapter, and we'll kind of talk about this in a moment. There's also another SD card in here. Uh, this version that I have comes with two SD cards. There's one already in the Raspberry Pi that's already installed in the laptop. And there's also this one right here. So it's nice that they include that for you. They kind of give you, at least from what I can tell, everything you need to get started, like up and running uh, very, very quickly. What you've also got, if this is kind of difficult to get out here, uh, you also have this, which is a micro SD card adapter. Now this comes with the Raspberry Pi 4 already pre-installed. Uh, it also supports the Raspberry Pi 3. So if you had a Raspberry Pi 3 and you wanted to get the version that doesn't have a Raspberry Pi, obviously that's gonna be cheaper. Uh, so you can just use your, your existing Raspberry Pi and they make it very, very easy to install the Raspberry Pi in here. So this is the Crow Pi 2 itself. So we'll go ahead and open this up here and uh, take it out. So if we go around it here, on this side is where the Raspberry Pi is. So these are, it's got this nice cutout here for the four USB ports and for the ethernet jack that the Raspberry Pi has. So to get access to the Raspberry Pi, you just have to flip it over to the back here. There's this little cutout as you can see, and you just have to, uh, take it off like that. There's no tools required to get into this, but there are going to be tools required to, you know, take out the Raspberry Pi if you want to put in your Raspberry Pi. Now, what I was talking about before with this uh, with this HDMI adapter right here, the Raspberry Pi 4 uses a micro HDMI uh, port on it to plug in a micro HDMI cable. So what they have done is they've used a, this adapter here to essentially send the micro HDMI signal to the built-in display on the laptop. So if you were using a Raspberry Pi that had a full-size HDMI port on it, you would use this one here. Now on the back, this is really convenient because you know, you've got all these sensors and all these different components. Now, obviously trying to carry these around with you if you travel with this or whatever is gonna be pretty uh, cumbersome. You know, you're gonna have to keep track of all this stuff. So what they've done is they've included this little uh, compartment here that you can take out and you can put uh, your your most used components. I don't believe all these would fit in here, but you can just take the things that you use the most, put them in here, and literally store them in the laptop. And they can do that because, again, all of the internals are essentially contained in this one little thing here. So they can utilize all of this uh, space for you know, storing components, which is just very, very nice because this little door here is about the size of this side of the laptop here. So yeah, that is a look at the exterior of the machine itself. Now let's open it up here. Now, because this is a development unit, a unit that is still like, they're still of course working on this project, although they are pretty close to wrapping up because the Kickstarter campaign is about to end pretty soon but they advised me that there are a couple of defects with this product, uh, things that they are going to uh, modify and kind of fix for the final uh, mass production release. And one of them is the keyboard here is not actually snug. It doesn't really latch into place properly. 
they don't really have any sort of mechanism that keeps the keyboard in place on this particular unit here. It just kind of rattles around, as you can see if I move this, the keyboard will actually rattle around in this casing here. If you were to flip the laptop over, the keyboard would just fall out. To get access to the development board, all you have to do is use this little latch down here, pull the keyboard up, and pull it out just like that. And here is the development board. Now this keyboard, as I said, is wireless, so it does need to be charged. There is a uh, USB port on the side there. We will, of course, be getting into this if you guys want to uh, you know, see a, a, a future more in-depth video on this. But this is, again, more of an overview, more of a first look. Uh, so what I want to do is power this thing on. We'll take a look at the software, and we'll run a couple of the included applications. So what we're looking at here is the default interface for the Crow Pi 2, and it's definitely designed to make it easy to navigate by like a child or, or somebody who maybe has never used a computer or certainly a Raspberry Pi before. So you've got this large learning button here, and this will take you to, now you have to sign into your Crow Pi 2 account, uh, which you can create a new account if you don't have one, but this, this will take you to uh, the list of various tutorials and, and things that you can do with all of these components and uh, and pieces of hardware. So these are kind of all the different guides that they have. What we also have are projects, and these are essentially pre-written scripts that do all sorts of various things, and they utilize certain components. Now, a really simple one is this hello script right here. And what this does is it requires the sound sensor, which is already pre-installed in the Crow Pi 2, and the display, which is also uh, pre-installed as well. Now it isn't this display, it's this little uh, display down on the development board which I'll show you in a moment. So it tells you basically to adjust the sensitivity of the sound sensor, it tells you what it does. In this project you will find that hello slides on the LCD display if the sound sensor detects your voice. So all we have to do is let me just show you the actual development board here. So this is the LCD that they're talking about. So if I hit run here and I start talking, it's going to light up and say hello. And it'll just continually do that until I click on stop. And then it will stop. So it's a pretty, you know, pretty simple script, but it just kind of uh, gives you a look at just some of the things that, that you can do with this. Game is not uh, RetroPie. This, if you go into this, it's got all sorts of different games in here. You've got like Tetris. We can launch this here. And this will launch in the desktop interface because, yes, there is a desktop interface for this as well. So if you knew what you were doing and or if you just wanted to use this as a Raspberry Pi laptop to browse the web with uh, Chromium, which is included, you can do that as well. So to get back to the uh, to the more, I guess, introductory interface, you just click on this button up here in the uh, system tray, and here you are back right, right where we were in the game section. So to get back to that, there's this little button up here. You can click on this, and this will bring you back to the desktop interface. We do have Scratch uh, installed. This will load Scratch Desktop, which will, again, take you back to the desktop interface. And so here is Scratch Desktop right here, and Scratch is a pretty useful tool for those who want to get into programming but don't know anything about it, as it kind of gives you a, a very simple and easy way to learn various concepts. Uh, so yeah, that's what that's what Scratch is. We'll go ahead and close out of that. Uh, and yes, we will leave uh, and not save any changes. What I do want to take a look at is Minecraft Pi Edition because that is on here. And if you've never heard of this, what this is is a free, very basic version of Minecraft. This is an official thing. This is not uh, third party by any means. This is developed and maintained by Mojang. Um, but it's not the full game. Like there's no survival mode. There's no like chatting. There's no like you can go into a console. I, I believe you can join games with other people. You can click on join game and uh, j just on your local network. So you can't join any servers or anything like that. Um, but you can make new worlds. Like if I want to create just a brand new world, I can do that. And uh, it will launch me into a, to a brand new world. So here we are. Now, uh, like I said, there's only creative mode. Uh, to get access to the inventory, you press E. The inventory design is very, very different. So if I want to get diamond blocks, for instance, I can click on that. I can start placing diamond blocks. But yeah, I mean, you can fly around. You can check out the world, obviously. I mean, it is pretty cool. And the world is also uh, limited. You can see I, I can actually get to the edge of the world here. It's not an infinite world, and uh, it's not a very 
uh, large one compared to what you have in the full game. But there you have it guys, that is kind of a first look, an introductory look at the Crow Pie 2 from El Crow. I want to give a huge thank you to this company for sending this out to me for review purposes. And like I said, this is not going to be the only video on this if you guys want to see more. If you guys would like to see some of the more cool, interesting things that we can do with this, maybe taking a look at uh, Retro Pie on this, which does not come uh, pre-installed from what I can tell, although it is a separate operating system, so I believe you would have to download it and uh, you know, install it yourself, but it does come with these controllers that you can use with it, which is pretty nice. So, um, yeah, they, they definitely include a lot of things, a lot of components, a lot of accessories, and like I said, this doesn't even really scratch the surface on what you can do with the uh, with the Crow Pi 2 and with the Raspberry Pi in general. So if you guys would like to see more content featuring this, be sure to let me know. But for now, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.